Dr. Paul here. We're gonna go take a look at a rash after a shot that was given a couple days ago. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Hello, hi, Hello. how are you doing? We had the Tdap, which is tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis. We use an acellular pertussis vaccine here that does have aluminum. It's impossible to get one that doesn't have aluminum. And aluminum is put into vaccines as an adjuvant to irritate the tissue so you get good blood flow to the area so the vaccine works. But once in a while, we get something like this. I drew lines around this. You know, parents, when you see a large reaction like this after a vaccine, it looks like an infection, but it isn't. It's that aluminum, probably the aluminum. There are other ingredients that might be irritating, but the body just comes in and creates this huge response trying to deal with this invader, foreign body, foreign substance. In this case, it's probably the aluminum. and. That has spread from the size of a, what was it that you said yesterday? I'm um, like a baseball. So the size of a baseball to the size of a softball. Uh, overnight, in, a, in a, a two days after the vaccine. And so we're just gonna watch this. We can use antihistamines, diphenhydramine, you can use loratadine. If it got really bad, we could do prednisone, ibuprofen for the pain and discomfort. And I would not do this same vaccine again because once you've had a large local reaction like this, you would be at greater risk for a really bad reaction. Uh, so that's just something to think about. I uh, wanted people to have the opportunity to see what a large local reaction looks like after a vaccine. Uh, this is a reportable event, so that way we can kind of track how often these things happen. And uh, she's gonna be fine, don't you think? Yeah? Do you wanna sit up for a minute? You want to sit up? No? You like laying down? Would you like to say anything to your YouTube fans? No? Like, want to say bye-bye? Say bye! <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.